wanted to be an old lady who drives around in her camper van. So I thought today I'm going to live out my dreams by building a camper van in Blocksburg. You know, one of these things. So if you're fancy, one of these. Th Look at these people. Tell me they aren't the happiest people on this planet right now. That guy's smiling like, yeah, I own a camper van. What about it? And friends are connected to a car. So we're going to have to place a car first. And I have a few ideas in mind. All right, so for a camper van, I feel like I should place the car first. Which car should we place? Oh my gosh. I feel like this is just classic camper van car, you know? Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, the Jeep? Yeah. Can we even connect the camper van to a Jeep? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a car person. $90,000. Uh, worth it. You know, I've always wanted to own a Jeep. A black Jeep, actually. Damn, I've, I didn't know I could be attracted to a car right now. Now we need to make the camper van. I've made a few, like, van cars in Blocksburg. However, camper van's a bit different. I reckon we're gonna do three by five. That's a pretty big camper van. And then we can do, like, classic camper van material, which is a metal roof. Or we could do, like, a modern camper van. Or we could just do, like, a classic black and white one. Oh my gosh, why is this so difficult? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? Temperaments have like a little slope at the front here. So I guess we can make this out of basic shapes. You can use like a convex straight. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm going to fluke it. Guys, not to flex on you, but I think I'm getting somewhere. I think. Are you sure about that? If we put the convex straight here. All right, we got a little slopey slope. All right, this car, love ya, but you're in my way, so you're moving. What did I ever do to you? Now, don't get me wrong. Owning a camper van seems very fun, but how on earth would you drive that thing? I can't even drive a car, let alone a van. Okay, I don't know. I mean, it kind of works. I don't know, all right? I'm not the best builder. I'll get comments like, um, Alaska, you suck at building. And I'm like, uh, yeah, duh, obviously. I never said I was a boxer. I never said I was a fighter. I never said I was a builder. The thing is, right, I'm not the best builder, but if I do build something that I like, I'm not going to be like, oh my god, this is so bad when I know it's good. If I build something and I like it, you guys will know because I won't shut up about it. Okay, it's getting there. I don't know what I'm doing with the front. <laughs> I'm trying to copy this picture here. See how they've got like the gas? Is that the gas? I don't know. Oh my gosh, stop. I gotta go. I got to go! Don't bully me, okay? I don't know. Okay, so then we can place the car back here. And then using a structural beam, we can connect the back of the camper van directly to the car. So then on here, we can have some gas. Boxboy doesn't have gas. Okay, um, barrels. This could work. Okay, you know what? This actually kind of worked. I just typed up a futuristic caravan and look what came up. Um, okay. I think we're just gonna do like a dark modern caravan, eh? All right, now the next thing we need is wheels. Now, usually for my wheels, I just use horizontal cylinders and put a small round painting on the top. And then boom, wheels on the bus go round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round. And don't worry guys, I am doing the back. I know, shocker. Alaska Violet doing the back of her builds? <gasps> Who would have thought? Now for the windows and the doors. Usually there's like two windows at the back and the front. You know how cars have faces? I feel like this car is like squinting at me. We might just use like this elegant door and then place it up here. The reason I'm placing it so high, by the way, is so we're gonna have a few little stairs here. My friend's dad owned a caravan and I remember I was having a sleepover and we snuck out of the caravan at like two o'clock in the morning and I fell down these stairs and I woke up the entire family. <laughs> oh. He needs some milk! And her dad, I'm gonna call her dad, um, Bob. Bob was like, what are you girls doing? Thomas, I didn't like four down your caravan, sir. So. Ah, right, see, there's our cute little stairs. And you know what I feel like we need? Air vents at the back of the van. What we might also have out here, a hose connected to like the back of the van here. Cause I'm not sure if we're gonna fit a shower inside of the camper van. You just have a shower outside, you know? Outback style. Oh yeah, guys, should I buy this van? Now that, that would be a fun renovation video. The next thing I'm gonna add to this camper van is a sun seeker. This is what it looks like. It just um has a little hoodie, hood, sun. I don't know the terminology. How are we going to make it? Using awnings. The only reason I know what these guys are called is because I tried to find the name of them um, in my last video. It took me like 20 minutes. My only problem is it doesn't come out that much. Okay, what if we do basic shapes instead? And doing some maths equation, we can just go beep boop bap, bada boop bap, shablam. That already looks so much better. Oh, I love basic shapes. Okay, there we go. This way we're going to have a little bit of shade on our caravan. We're not going to be in like direct sunlight. And see how these these rods are kind of connected to the van. We are also going to do the same thing. Why? Because I'm a realist, you know? I like it real. 
I also want to have a little grill out here to really immerse ourselves in the whole camping experience. And then for the chairs, oh, what's like classic outdoor chairs? Oh yeah, every single dad owns one of these chairs. Go up to dad and be like, dad, do you own one of these chairs? He'll say yes. We have a little carpet at the bottom. Maybe this can be like a towel or something if you're taking it to the beach. Because let's be honest, you cannot walk on sand without thongs on. Like, because your feet will burn. I also want to have little curtains underneath these windows. So we might just add like one more basic shape. Stop, why am I actually getting excited for this? This is how dads feel when they watch caravan videos. Because you know what? It's kind of exciting. I'm not going to lie. So one more curtain at the top here. And then womp, womp, womp. We have the outside of the caravan all complete. And just to make it a little bit more realistic, we might just add a few trees around here maybe a little mountain as well you know, in case we want to go forward driving okay talk about a solid mountain right there also what am i doing with these plants <laughs> i don't know i'm just placing anything really there's no thoughts um Okay, but like, look how much better that looks with plants. Okay, so I think it's time to work on the inside of this caravan. The only difference a caravan has with um, like a regular camper van is that it doesn't have a steering wheel at the front, which is actually fine for us because this gives us more room for the inside. And I really want to do a bunk bed moment in here. I don't know how we're going to fit a bunk bed in here, but I really want to do a bunk bed. So I just placed a basic shape on the floor because obviously the door is not like on the bottom of the van. Oh, you know what I just realized we're forgetting? Um, a roof. <laughs> I want to have two sky roofs. I think I want to have one here at the front and then one here at the back. And then we can just add a regular roof around this. Now to plan out this camper van and where everything is going to go. So I'm thinking at the back, we can have the bed. We can have the kitchen here, the bathroom, inside of a caravan. Oh damn, look at that caravan. Okay, luxury. If this was my caravan, I would sell my home and live in here. Actually, I changed my course of action. The back bit here is going to be the bathroom. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut a wall. What do you mean not enough space? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, fine. We can have the bathroom here in this little two by one. And maybe we can have the bunk bed at the back here. Actually, first things first, how are we going to fit a bunk bed in here? Oh, <gasps> it fits perfect. I'm going to scream. Can we just talk about how perfect that fits? I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Also, what theme are we doing, guys? I love how I asked you as if you guys are going to tell me. As if you guys can talk to me through the camera. Can you say delicioso? She'll grow out of it. Actually, I'm going to read one of your minds, okay? What theme am I going to do? Say it in your head. I'm going to say it in three, two, one. If you said dark modern, you are correct. We are doing a dark modern camper van. And I want this camper van to be equipped with the latest technology. So I'm going to have a painting underneath the bed. And this is going to act as the TV. Yeah, each bed can have their own TV. When I was younger, it was literally my dream to live in a caravan. I was like to my mom, please, can we live in a caravan? And she's like, girl, you got school in the morning. Girl, you got school in the morning. Get your ass in the car. The only thing with these bedrooms is that there's not much room for a bedside table. So instead of a big bulky bedside table, we're going to use these little desk organizers and kind of put them in a stair-like position. And we're also going to do the same up here. And instead of placing a lamp that would very clearly fall over if you started to drive, we're going to place these wall lamps instead. I guess this is where we can also place all of our towels for it to dry. I actually showered in a caravan once and it was awful. I ran out of hot water in like two minutes and I had to shower in cold water. It was just sad sad days. So I feel like there's too many tiles in here. I think I might change the back wall to a nice dark plank. Okay, so the next thing I want to add is the lounge. I don't know where we're going to place this though. Also, where are we going to place the kitchen? Um, I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. You know what? The kitchen can go right here. That is plenty of room for a kitchen. <laughs> Some caravans don't have stoves in them. Like I said before, we are doing a very advanced caravan. And then as for the fridge, I guess this can go right next to the stove. Oh, <gasps> you know what's the only annoying thing though? Using the cabinets, they're gonna come down very, very low, very low. Well, found myself in a little bit of a pickle. It's fine, we don't need cabinets. The only reason I wanted to use a cabinet is so I could place a microwave, but we can just have the microwave on the corner. And then as for a coffee machine, you know what? It can go above the fridge. And instead of cabinets, you know what? Oak shelves. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I seen someone on TikTok, they use these jars in their caravan and they place like tape underneath it. So the jars wouldn't fall off the shelves when they start driving. So you know what? We're just going to pretend to place uh, tape underneath. You know, people on TikTok who like store their cupboards like this, that has never made sense to me. Like they will buy cereal, take it out of the packet just to put it in another packet so it looks aesthetic. I could never, that would take so much effort. Which means the next thing we have is the lounge room. We didn't leave much room for the lounge room. Why did I do this to myself? 
Where am I gonna place the lounge? Well, well, well. You know what? We're gonna do a little swap rooney of the kitchen real quick. Okay, there we go. So in this way, we can have some lounges here. And for our lounges, we're gonna use these ones. I thought these are just classic camper van lounges. So what we're gonna do is have three along the side, a custom made table in the middle, complimentary lemon bowl, and we can also set the table, make it nice and pretty. I have a really bad habit. All the plates first and then all the bowls. And I'm stupid because I just realized all I need to do is place one placemat and then I can just copy it instead of placing everything individually like a dum dum. Okay, lounge is done. Instead of chairs on this side, we're gonna place a bench. That actually looks really nice. So I think that's everything out here. So then lastly, we can work on this tiny two by one bathroom. Originally, I was gonna have the shower outside. You know what? I think we've got room to place the shower in here. I mean, it'll be a very tight fit, but it'll work. <laughs> The only problem is that we're not going to have room for a toilet. I mean, technically we could. It would just be very, very tight. That's what she... Nope, not going there. That's what she said. <laughs> and we have a bath mat by the door so we can wipe our wings. Did I just say wings? I meant feet. I don't know why that just came out wings. What am I, a bird? And the next thing we cannot forget is some privacy blinds. Because, you know, I do like my privacy. Yeah, guys, I don't think we're going to be able to fit a toilet in here. We can try, okay? We can try. I mean, you know what? We could have the toilet here. The only problem is it's going to be a tight squeeze walking to the shower. But it's all right. We've been through worse. All right, and I think that is our bathroom done. As for the sink, if you want to wash your hands, you can use the kitchen sink. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do in the caravan is fix up the lighting. And because we're doing a very modern caravan instead of harsh overhead lighting we're gonna use nice warm led lights why because why not Maybe some pendants above the dining table. Ooh, that's kind of cute. And as for the TV, I'm going to place a massive TV right here. So then this way we can watch TV while we're making dinner. And then voila, our camper van is done. So the total of the caravan comes to $149,000. And this is how the outside turned out. I'm actually super impressed. I love the little car at the front. I think it like accurately resembles a caravan. Like, I mean, out here we have some outdoor seating. I love the sun visor I added as well. The only thing that sucks though is even even if we do drive this car. Unfortunately, we cannot take the caravan with us. But you know what? That's all right. So walking up these stairs, we have the inside of the caravan, which turned out surprisingly really good. So left here, we have our kitchen. Pretty spacious kitchen, I'd say so. I grabbed the fridge back here, our coffee machine, all of our jars. I love the little sunroofs I added as well. I think that was a nice touch. And then here is our dining slash living room with, of course, our humongous 70 inch plasma TV screen. I don't know why I added it on this wall. It's the only wall I could add it on because technically this is the lounge room right so if you're sitting here on the lounge you can't really watch tv so that's my only complaint But that's just because I'm a flop and I don't know how to space things out. And then over here is my favorite part of the caravan, which is the bunk bed. As you can see, each bunk bed has their own TV. Now, when it comes to bunk beds, I am a top bunk bed girly. I will always be sleeping on the top. And the last bit we have of the caravan is the bathroom, which is embarrassingly small. Like you literally have to jump over the toilet just to get to the shower. I mean, there's not really much privacy, but I mean, hey, at least everything works. And if there's not much privacy, we can always close these blinds. And then there we go. We have our gorgeous bathroom. So yeah, I hope you guys guys enjoyed me building a caravan in Blocksburg. This was super fun to do. If you have any ideas like this, make sure to comment them below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!